Oh, that man, Rhett Nelson, is also suspected in another murder. Dmitry Koltsov, a pro athlete from Russia who was randomly attacked near downtown LA. And now his family needs help getting his body back home. Tonight, KCOMAN's Chris Holmstrom is live at the Cove Skate Park in Santa Monica, where Koltsov was well known. Chris? Yeah, that's right. And he wasn't only a pro snowboarder, he was also a really good skateboarder. And this was his home on Wednesday nights. It's this smile and laugh his loved ones will never forget. A positive guy with so much energy, and it showed in his skills. Dmitry Koltsov was a professional snowboarder from Russia. He won the bronze medal in the 2010 Big Air Snowboard Championship and silver medal at the Swiss Open Halfpipe Championship. But his skills were not limited to the snow. This video was taken at the Cove Skate Park of Santa Monica, a spot Dmitry was known to visit, or as his friends call him, Dima. He created a huge community here between Russians and skateboarders and surfers and snowboarders. Silva Mena and her husband lived with Dima for several years and were devastated when they heard what happened. He, he was a really good person um, to every single person that I met through him. They only have good things to say about him. It was two weeks ago. Dima was shot and killed in downtown Los Angeles. He remained unidentified for several days while authorities located his family in Russia. The man accused of killing him, Rhett Nelson, the same man accused of killing Deputy Joe Solano. Two murders investigators believe were random. Now his friends are trying to help out his family, so they started this GoFundMe page. This money is going to go mostly to cover the transportation of his body. A huge loss for so many people. <laughs> but it's memories like this that will live on. It'll just take time for that to happen. I still haven't say goodbye. <laughs> like it's I feel that it's still not the time to break, you know, like there's still a lot of things to do to help his family. And so far, more than $17,000 has been raised. If you want to help out, we put a link on our website, cbsla.com. Reporting live in Santa Monica, I'm Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News.